Back to football, back to Dick Stadium. Hi again, everybody. Ty Leonard with you at day one for Golden Flash's football training camp for the year 2012. Second year now for Daryl Hazel and his staff. An influx of new talent, along with a lot of veteran returnees, make this year's training camp a little more intriguing. And on this Friday, with temperatures hovering into the 80s and humidity levels soaring, a chance for the players to don the helmets and just get acclimated and onto the field, which means a lot of different meetings, a lot of different fundamentals, and a lot of snaps for a lot of different players. The wider I am to get to my landmark, whether I'm on in here, on in here, 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 wherever I'm at, the landmark stays the same, one inch past the midline. How does he get to my landmark? His footwork, his steps, his steps going to take him to his landmark. I'm going to squeeze a beach ball between your knees. Okay, the stance is very balanced, very balanced. <laughs> Temperatures threatening the 90 degree mark throughout day one of football training camp for the year 2012, but the humidity levels are what have the flashes a little bit concerned, and maybe concerned isn't the right word, but remember they didn't have to deal with this at all last year, very, very little. So perhaps while today we're focusing on the players wearing just helmets, it is a simple water bottle that'll be the flash's greatest ally here for the next few days. They'll go with helmets really, for just the first couple of days, they'll switch over to shells, and by the early part of next week, call it Tuesday, we're told that they will bust out the pads, and hopefully they'll get a break in the humidity there. But as you saw, today's high humidity and high temperatures didn't keep Daryl Hazel's mock turtleneck and long wind pants in his locker. They were very prevalent here on day one. We'll be back with you next week. For now, from training camp, Ty Linder, go Flashes.